was brought to my attention yesterday night around 1 a.m. that what my my dad called me and he said his, his brother called him and said that my son Daryl Durham was on the news for the third suspect in Irene the market on Livingston murder. So I called my son immediately. My son asked me what to do. And I told him he needed to turn himself in as soon as possible. Tell his story. He said he didn't have anything to do with it. He was there. But he needed to tell his story. He just felt like that he hadn't, didn't have anything to do with it, but they got his face all over the news and the newspapers talking about he's a suspect and a murderer and so on and so forth. And, they, and he's wanted. He's a wanted man. When you look at every police in this vicinity is, is looking for you, it's scary. He didn't know where to turn to. And when you don't know where to turn to, you come to the church for help. Uh, what we addressed in, uh, after service, we addressed, so listen, here is, we got three mothers in this. Here's three mothers. You know, when the kids did wrong, they said they did wrong, and then they told the authorities. And they said, look, I'm still with you. I'm still your mother. But the mere fact, when you do wrong, you have to understand for your own doings. I've been working with these children out here in the community for quite some time now. I know his mother since she was a child, you know. So it was really hard to deal with it, but I told her, you did the right thing. They said, you know, she received threats, she couldn't stay in her house anymore, she's homeless, and then for you to have to turn around and turn your son in for something like that, that takes, that takes a lot of courage. But she knew that she had to do the right thing. She didn't want him running and hiding and taking a chance on getting shot or getting caught into what those other two boys did when they were on the run. Because, you know, when you're living that life, you don't know what's going to happen. I feel like well, that was my own son that I was turning in this morning. And it was hard for me to, you know, turn him over to the police like that, but I knew that it needed to be done, and it was the right thing to do.